F1's legacy team, Scuderia Ferrari, the team that probably has the most fans. Are they going in the right direction? Or is everything really going wrong for Ferrari? Well, I actually am on the other side and think that all these things happening right now to Ferrari are good things and the future will be bright for the team from Italy. Ferrari has gone 15 years without a driver's championship and almost just about 15 years without a constructor's championship. People like Michael Schumacher, Sebastian Vettel, Fernando Alonso, multiple legends have driven for Ferrari, including Alan Prost. I mean, the list goes on and on and on with drivers that have driven for Ferrari and actually won with Ferrari. They've also not provided the right cars for drivers that are as talented to be world champion, like what happened with Sebastian Vettel and what happened with Fernando Alonso and what is currently happening with Charles Leclerc, in my personal opinion. But is Ferrari getting a lot of slack? And do I think that this 2023 season is really just a big rebuild? I do believe that. And I think that reality check is really setting in for Ferrari. Before I go more into depth about this Ferrari team and why I believe everything is going in the right direction right now for them, Please subscribe and like. We are doing an amazing job and I love every single one of you that is supporting the channel. Giving me a subscribe and like really just means everything. So thank you all. I practically upload every single day and when you have a chance, just go down and hit that big red button. All right, let's get into the big red team, Ferrari. So with a big overhaul and some people leaving the team like David Sanchez, who's been in the news pretty recently and actually now he's gonna be working for McLaren, which is a past team that he worked for. Ferrari is that team that everybody looks at as the legacy team for F1. So when we see big firings and them doing bad and tires going off the hill and the cars blowing up, everybody automatically sets and thinks, oh, F1's done for, oh, Ferrari's doing terrible again. like. If Ferrari was at the top, I think F1 would be one of the most watched sports on the planet. It's just a reality. Ferrari is that team that makes everybody watch. It's the red car. It's the one that holds the legacy. It makes really the fans go crazy when Ferrari is winning. It's just what the team provides just by having the name Ferrari. But with a lot of things already kind of going in, what I would say looks like the wrong direction for Ferrari, like... Charles Leclerc already getting an engine penalty, his car dying in the first race, them really not delivering those preseason, was it a hoax? Was it news? Was it just fake for everybody to get hyped up for Ferrari? I mean, we really don't know. The reports before the season were, this car is one second faster than the F175. Come to find out in Jeddah, they're actually seven tenths off their pace in comparison to last year. So they could have just kept the F175 and rode it on this track. Now, obviously, that is not the reality. There were regulation changes, it really hurt them. And now they have a completely different performing car, even though it looks pretty similar to the actual F175. Even though this is supposed to be an upgraded version, but do they have the right concept? Are these things justifiable with the tires? Here's what I'll tell you. The concept seems like it's just wrong. Honestly, Ferrari went in a direction. They had probably the fastest car in 2022 in the beginning of the season at least what it seemed like, especially in Bahrain. In Jeddah, if they had just that slightest bit of straight line speed, Charles would have caught Max Verstappen, and we would have had a much more entertaining race from that end with Charles actually being able to overtake Max. But as soon as Max got that overtake, it was gonna be a tough task for Charles to actually stick within Max. And he still did, even with that straight line speed deficit in comparison to the Red Bull. I mean, Red Bull's straight line speed this year is a deficit now that Ferrari has to take. That's a big deficit. Do they probably have the best engine? I probably believe that. Yeah, I think that this SF23 probably has the best engine on the grid, including the Haas and the Alfa Romeo, but that doesn't necessarily mean the best car, clearly. The 2021 and 2017 version of cars, between 2017 and 2021, those version of cars, the engine was a lot more important. But this year, it seems like aerodynamic efficiency is by far the most important part, and Ferrari is clearly lacking it. Their biggest, and the hugest disadvantage they have are the tires. The tires going out in every single race, I mean, I can't get them anywhere. If the tires are getting shred like this, they're just gonna have to pit consistently. They can't go for the right strategy calls. Doing one stops is almost virtually impossible with the car that they have right now. I mean, they just have to conserve tires for most of the race and they fall back completely in pace. Is it a slow car? Not necessarily, it's just a car that shreds tires. 
Frederick Vasseur came in this year into 2023. So this is his actual first official year and can't really be a year that we judge the team principal by, I guess, the car performance because his actual philosophies haven't really came in. There are already reports of the car going from an SF23 to kind of a copy of an RB19. Could this be the right direction? I mean, I would assume so. It seems like any car that has that huge undercut like the AMR and the Red Bull is already performing better than most of the grid. So I think teams are really considering that to be their best outcome as to how to catch up to the top field, but that will put them behind in data and now they're trying to play that catch up game with Red Bull who is already extremely efficient and making that car look like a bullet. With Frederick coming, a lot of actually people from Bonato's team did not like that Bonato was moved or fired really from Ferrari, even though it was said that he was like, that he had his own choice to leave. It wasn't really that, it was more of like a firing. But with Bonato, there was a couple other guys. Clearly it seems like David Sanchez was one of those guys that liked working under Bonato. A couple of other people, I know Lauren was a Marcellus, was also talked about leaving the team, but that is completely a rumor. And a lot of rumors have gone around with Ferrari people wanting to leave, but that isn't the reality. And I know that one of the realities is that when Frederick came in, people were already very friendly with him, calling him Fred, and excited to have a new team principal. Maybe the philosophies are different. I mean, clearly, this team has not worked for the past 15 years. They had close to a title run in 2012, even though that car was extremely bad in comparison to the top two teams at that time, which was Red Bull and McLaren, and they were somehow holding on to that edge. They struggled in 2018 and 19 and 17. Believe it or not, even if Vettel didn't crash in Hockenheim, I still believe this Ferrari team wouldn't have won the 2018 season. Would it have been closer? Probably, but... It wouldn't have happened. 2019, they had engine troubles. And the engine was practically illegal to the standard of what the FIA was allowing for that year. 2020 comes along with a bad engine. Their aero efficiency was very bad. 2021, I guess, was a more improved year. 2022 was a huge step up. And now 2023, yet again, is a downgrade. So this team just isn't hitting that championship level winning car and it when they did last year they didn't execute so the firing of the head of strategy i think was a good call i mean the strategy was a big part as to why 2022 really failed and now in 2023 we have a complete restart but if the car isn't fighting at the top we won't see how good that strategy really is so i do think that ferrari needed this hence the title they needed a rehaul they need a couple of years to just be like listen we need to just take a step back collect some research really put our all into the next car that is coming and the next car concept that is coming and just get the right group of team together. The team that they've had for the past 15 years isn't a championship winning team. They need to go back to that Michael Schumacher era and the people that were working there and what made them Ferrari at that time. Because clearly this is a different Ferrari that we have now. Can Frederick Vassura actually put in a policy like that? I do believe with his very ambitious already takes that he's doing here at Ferrari, he can do that. It can be a big overhaul that turns into something way bigger because like I always say, and I say in most of my videos, any team in F1, their goal is to win, not to get third, not to get second, not to get fourth, not to just go up to constructors, but to win. Sure, you have teams like Haas and maybe Williams who are trying to recover and I guess that makes sense. They're at some point wanting to win a championship, but they're just not there yet. But a team like Ferrari, Mercedes, now Aston Martin that's brought up, Red Bull, I mean, even Alpine, even McLaren, those six teams should always be looking for victors. When Audi comes in, their ambitions are already to win championships. Last year, the mentality was, oh, we just wanted a race winning car championship for 2023. In the sixth race of the season, was it sixth or seventh in Baku? I mean, that was outrageous when I heard that statement. Different philosophy this year. Frederick already came in saying we're going to win the championship. Is it going to happen? Probably not. Will they probably be behind for most of this year? I would assume so. And I think that SF23 isn't really going to be gaining that much performance throughout the year. But they already have a whole entire aggressive run plan going with upgrades through this whole entire year. And we could see a very upgraded car by the end of the year and see where that really sits with RB19. Is this the right concept? Is there more for them to actually work off of with this SF23? I mean, we really don't know. These first two races haven't really shown us where that car exactly sits. 
in Bahrain, they looked second. Qualifying pace is great. But like I said, the biggest things are what Vasseur is doing with the team, the internal status, and that the big guys at top that lead really that Ferrari team allow him to put in his implementations and to really change around this team's mentality. Because right now, they don't look like championship winners, but I do believe that this future is very bright for Ferrari. And I genuinely think that Ferrari will change their ways and we will get a completely different Ferrari team in the coming years. Leave your thoughts down below. What are your guys' thoughts about the legacy team of F1? Do you guys genuinely believe that this is just over and out and it's a fluke like every single season? Or do you guys think it is changing? Is Frederick Vasseur going to actually change this team from its poor mentality to a race winning, title winning mentality? Leave your thoughts down below. Please leave a like. Make sure you guys subscribe. You guys mean the world and peace.